Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Lexus has unveiled, fully announced the LY650, the luxury yacht, their foray into luxury outside of the automotive atmosphere. They're going into yachts. They possibly might be going into jet planes, and we'll talk about that at the end. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more Toyota and Lexus news, and I'll see you on the other side. So while you guys watch this glorious video courtesy of Lexus, I'm going to go over some quick little pieces of information about the LY650. It is made by Marquee Yachts, uh, they're a Wisconsin company. It's 65 feet long, 40 tons, 31.4 knots top speed. It's powered by Volvo Penta IPS engines and configurations of 1,050, 1200 and 1350 horsepower it goes on sale october 30th which it'll be at uh, a boat show i think in boca raton or tampa somewhere around in florida uh, and it'll be 3.7 million dollars or thereabouts that's probably the entry price it'll be tons of carbon fiber reinforced plastic for light and strong infrastructure it can sleep six people and accommodate up to 15 uh, for the parties, you know. It has optional Mark Levinson, super cool. I don't know why it's standard, but that's still cool. You have air conditioning, bespoke furnishings, wood trim, fully equipped aft galley. You have LY Link, which this is a new thing. Uh, advanced wireless connectivity with real-time site values, voltage, fuel, water. Uh, it can tell you about any abnormalities and it can control lighting, audio, and climate control from your phone. That's quite a, bot, quite a lot of information, but uh, there are some things that in the pictures I just kind of want to talk about the small details that I get really excited about, and Lexus is known for their exquisite interiors and craftsmanship, so let's dive into it. Here, this picture, uh, of course, we see the gorgeous steering wheel, which you guys saw in the video already. This is cool. This window pops open. You have some fresh salt sea air. Uh, you got the two-tone seats here, which kind of reminds me of the NX Special Edition, the Blackline Edition we had last year, and which is a, it's called Arctic White. It's a two-tone. Uh, we're just going to go through the pictures, though. Of course, you have your nav, a couple navs, depth finder, some other things I don't understand. You have a compass. <laughs> you have a cup cup holder here, a cup holder over there. There's your throttle, some sort of joystick, which I've never driven a yacht. But so this is a funny picture of the yacht doing uh, swirlies in the ocean to make it look cool. Uh, there it is floating around along. Look at the floor. Look at this floor. It's absolutely beautiful. The seats are exquisite. You have this little table here. Uh, and then you have this little peek through hole, which we'll get into what that is here in a second. Here is you have the idea of the L finesse. Of course, you have the Lexus logo right here, but the L finesse, and you have additional table back here for, for your dining. Uh, but this L finesse, this is essentially what you see uh, in the vehicles, especially the headlights, right? Doesn't that look like an LC500 headlight uh, or at least a daytime running light? Here you have it from the back, Lexus here, Lexus there, L finesse. Uh, this guy's just hanging out on top, which we don't really see any pictures on the very, very top partition of this really cool yacht it's unfortunate i would love to see that the backside looking exquisite no doubt here's the really cool stuff the inside this is the uh luxury cabin actually no it's not this this is just one of the bedrooms this is really confusing i've been trying to figure out which bedrooms which this might be uh the luxury room or the penthouse or whatever you want to call it the the master suite you have a little screen on the far right here you have some normal plugins you have some reading lights here, windows for his and hers. Uh, and then over, we'll see what this, I love the little doorways. The ceiling is exquisite. Here is the top shelf of the, not the top, top shelf that we don't have very many pictures, but this is a, the, main, the main floor. You have um, a decanter here. And then the glossy roof, you see this big L with carpet with this nice wood floor. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's laminate, to be honest, just for durability's sake. Uh, I don't know what these stylized things here are. They, I, they look a little odd. The cabinets look great. Uh, here's the bathroom. Definitely a luxury bathroom, no doubt. I wish we saw pictures of the shower. That would be really cool, but we don't have that. As we go around, this is in that same room, that master suite room that I couldn't really tell if it was a master suite room, but here we have um, 
additional windows that are openable or can be open to the sea air. You have a big screen here, an iPad charger. Uh, you have this stereo system here, which I wouldn't be surprised if this is the uh, Mark Levinson sound system that is optional. This is a really, really cool shot here. Uh, beautiful interior. I wouldn't expect anything less of Lexus. And we're probably, and then here's the steering wheel. And that sums it up. But let's just, I'm gonna break down the video as well. Uh, they have tons of ambient lighting. It looks like it's straight out of a luxury build uh, RX or LX. Great steering wheel. Even the pillows are highly detailed. There's the ambient lighting I was just talking about. And then look at this bedroom. And the reason why I didn't know if the previous one was a master suite is because this bedroom here has this sunroof uh, that opens up to the stars at night. How gorgeous would that be? But look at this ambient lighting and that bed just looks like it's floating. Of course, you have the, the Lexus emblem there on the side. Uh, another picture of that steering wheel. Right there, I'm gonna go back because that is one shiny anchor. XR, I don't know what that if there's a certain brand, XR Anchors. Uh, a little montage of materials, uh, lights on the stairs, cup holders, liquor, tables. Oh, and that's something we didn't see earlier. You have a nice little sunshade there. So just like you have, and then of course these little screens, which I don't know what these are to be honest. All we get is a Lexus background. I don't know what kind of function they have or integration they have. Uh, and there's there's the third bedroom. Let's go back just a second. That's the third bedroom. It's very pedestrian, right? It doesn't have the skyline. It does have some ambient lighting on the floor and the top. Uh, and each one of these bedrooms, I think, has their own bathroom, which is freaking awesome. Uh, look at that lighting up top. Very, very beautiful. We just have a cruising around here on the ocean, looking real good. But that's about it on the yacht. Uh, we're going to get over to the possible private jet that Lexus could be working on. Is So Lexus enthusiasts uh, broke this news, at least that's when I saw it. Is Lexus planning to build an executive jet? Akio Toyota, was, which is like father Toyota right now, he is the spokesperson, the owner of you know, he's Toyota himself. Toyota itself is trying to transform from an automotive company to a mobility company. Keep that in mind. And there's a comment down below that saying the automotive industry is dead because of electric vehicles. That's a, a little oversight, but it's definitely a possibility. Uh, and in order to enhance the value of the Lexus brand, we need to cover land, sea, and also air. You heard it right, air as well. So we know Honda has come out with a jet I think it's doing pretty well for them. Now Toyota under the Lexus badge is gonna possibly have uh, their own private luxury jet. Therefore the yacht was a concept we really needed to have. When, when Cars Guide, that was the interviewers, uh, asked specifically that meant that Lexus was also investigating the development of an aeroplane, Mr. Toyota replied, well, please watch us and what we do when it comes to that area. So there you have it. Lexus is going, is working on, well, you say Toyota, is working on a luxury private jet that's gonna be branded as a Lexus nameplate. Um, we already have the yacht. I can't wait to see it. Uh, I mean, see it in person one day. One day, I'll bring it to you guys. I'll bring you the luxury yacht, my impressions of it, uh, how awesome it is to sip that delicious Cavassier on there. I don't know what it was, but it would be a good time. And then how cool would it be to hop in a Lexus branded freaking airplane with the interior quality of like an LS 500. Oh my gosh, Carico glass around me, sipping from that crystal, that champagne in the jet. I can feel it, I can taste it right now. Flying to, I don't know, wherever I want to, somewhere in Japan. How cool would that be? I'll try to bring it to you one day, guys. But and right now, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good good idea for Lexus to foray into things like yachts and airplanes uh, and jets, I should say, because 
they they don't they they they're very future sighted. They know that the auto industry isn't the end all be all of luxury. Uh, that's why Lexus has also worked in different restaurants. They have different restaurants around the world. Uh, I forget what it's called. I'll put it right over here. Intersect, I just thought of it. Intersect by Lexus. They also do fashion shows because they know fashion shows is a very upper class luxury sort of thing. Uh, and so what do you guys think? I'll see you in the comments below and in the next video. Until next time, hey, maybe I'll give you guys uh, a little review on, a, on an RX 350, maybe 2020. I'll see what I can do. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace out, guys.